Hey guys, I'm Shada, and in tonight's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you around a really cool website called Stencil. Now, Stencil will help you to create social media graphics. It's an in-browser software, and it's super easy to use. So whether you just need an Instagram photo or a Facebook post, or if you're creating an entire website, this is the tool for you. I'm going to show you all around, so let's get started. So I've just closed up shop for the day and I love being in here at 6 o'clock when the doors are closed and I can kind of look around and be like, whoa, it looks like a real shop in here. And I did this, I mean, with a lot of help, but still, this is, this is pretty cool for me. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a first time business owner this year and I opened the Geranium Gift Shop, which is a small seasonal gift shop right on the water in Prince Edward Island in St. Peter's Bay. And I've learned a lot as a full time business owner. And of course, one of the things I've learned is that I need to delegate more, I need to ask for more help. But when you are just starting out in business, you, you're doing a lot on your own. And I have a hand in everything from mopping the floor to doing the orders to doing the unpacking. And all those day to day tasks can be so immediate that sometimes it's easy to forget the the sort of secondary tasks like setting up all your social media and creating a consistent and beautiful social media profile. Now that can seem like it's a little less important but it's actually so so important and I know for myself there just aren't enough hours in the day. I'm constantly trying to do the best job I can do. I want everything to be really quality, but I'm also trying to get a lot done quickly. So any tool that allows me to get stuff done quickly while still having an awesome product, that's like what I really need right now. And Stencil is definitely in that category. It's super easy to use. Um, they have all kinds of stock photos, they've got fonts. So it's, um, it's everything you need to create social media graphics super, super easily. Um, so I guess there's nothing else to say except let me show you around this awesome interface. So here we are in my browser and I'm at the Stencil website which is GetStencil.com and this is their homepage and if you go up here to pricing, I'll just go through this really quickly, you can see they've got a whole bunch of different options and that's something I really like is that you can get the unlimited but you can also choose um, for a lower monthly fee to get a few less photos and graphics and better yet, you can try it for free um, and you get up to 10 photos a month. Or since you're watching this video, you could get 15% off any of the plans with code SHADA15. And then back on the home page, they've got kind of a little bit of a slideshow here playing on the right. And this is a great way to just get some ideas when you first come to the interface and just see what you can do because you can work with photos and graphics and icons and shapes and text. Um, so get some ideas there, then let's sign in, and then this is sort of what the interface looks like. So this is your little dashboard. You've got your um, project over on the right hand side and all the tools on the left. You can see there's a menu for icons, there's a menu for photos, you can look through some templates. So you can really um, play around, search anything. Um, but before we start getting into all that, let's set up our size of our, of our project. And so you can go and if you want to do a Facebook header, just click that and it'll size it for you. So you don't have to know how many pixels wide an Instagram post or a Facebook header is. So that's all done for you. Now what I'm going to do is my Facebook page for the business. So I'm just on Facebook. I'm going to set up a brand new page for the geranium. And as soon as I do that, what do I need? I need some photos. I need to make the page look pretty. I need a header, I need a cover photo, and then I need some content for the, the, the page itself. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start by filling in this big header. So let's go back to stencil and search flowers. I just will search anything I can think of and I'll look through the photos that pop up. Now I've chosen this one here of the peonies and I've just dragged it onto my workspace just to show you guys kind of what that looks like. As soon as you choose a photo, you'll have this little dashboard or menu and this lets you play around with the photo and this is one of my favorite features. You can darken the photo, you can lighten it. I really like to do this thing where I darken it a bit and I make it transparent. Can you kind of see what that does? It fades it but it's also dark so that letters will really stand out 
on the image and it sort of makes it a very backgroundy piece. Oh, I forgot to actually set the Facebook header size, but you can do that when you start if you don't forget like I did, or you can do it um, at any point and Stencil will just uh, resize it for you. So no big deal, I'll just click set and then boom, there. Now this is the size of a Facebook header and I don't have to worry. So let's put some text here. I'm just gonna write the Geranium gift shop. I'm just keeping my header nice and simple. And then again, a little dashboard pops up here for the text box and you can pick your font. So they've got all kinds of fonts in their own font book, but you can also upload your own fonts. So any fonts that you might've paid for or bought um, that you have in your own font book, you can upload, no big deal. Um, let me pick one that I like to use, which is Georgia. That's one I do quite often. And then you can see here, you can up the text size, you can change the color, you can make it bold, centered, and you don't even have to highlight the text. Um, like, I mean, you don't have to scroll over it. As long as you're working with the text box and the menu is open, it's easy peasy. So I'm just gonna move that over and I'm going to save it. When I save it, it's saved to stencil. That way I can change it around if I want. And then to get it on my computer, I click download and I'll download it and it just ends up in my downloads folder and I can use it. I can put it on Facebook, do whatever I want. One thing I really like to do at this point is to change the background image and keep the text the same. So that way I end up with a whole bunch of images that are different, a variety of images for the minimum amount of work. And I'll just save each one as I go or download each one as I go and I might make some small changes like here I'm going to put the text right in the center and I'm gonna change it to white. Um, but again, just I can do a lot of a variety of images in a minimum amount of time. And here you can see I'm doing that sort of transparent, darkened background and uh, it looks really nice. It looks really sophisticated. I think that's one of my favorite things about the program is you can create some really sophisticated images that look like they were um, design just for your business. Now I'm just gonna throw my address in there and again there's another cute header that I can use and in a month if I want to switch up my Facebook cover then it's no big deal. I've already got a whole folder and I'm gonna search beach or seashore and see what I can come up with here. Um, this one kinda looks a bit like PEI so I'll just trans make that a little more transparent and yeah I think you guys get the point here. So now let's do um, another header. This is gonna be my final one. I'm searching sort of flower bouquet. That's really pretty. You can see how many great photos there are. I always have trouble choosing because there's so many good ones. And there's so many that are actually applicable to my brand. This one here I really like. And you can just drag and drop, make it your background image. Again, a little transparent, a little dark, and I've got this really sophisticated um, header or cover photo image and all I have to do now is put a little bit of text on there. Now I actually have my logo already designed so I'm going to click upload, go into my desktop folder which is called shop graphics and I'm going to grab a PNG and a PNG is like a JPEG except it has a a transparent background or it can have a transparent background. So if you already have your logo designed and you just want to use stencils photos, great. Just upload your original logo and stick it on top of a gorgeous photo and it's just that easy. And here is my final Facebook header. I'm going to click download, go over to Facebook, click upload and I'm going to upload this and it looks awesome. I'm super happy with that. Now it is time to do the, uh, what's it called, the profile photo. I'm going to go over here as, and just, I'm going to do custom settings. So I'm just going to make it a square 170 by 170. That's pretty small. You could probably do more like 300 by 300. But I'm just going to set it to a square because you can do custom settings on stencil as well. And then I'm going to upload again a PNG because it has a transparent background and I want to use my own logo that I've designed for my profile. But then again, I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a nice image in the background. So I'm just trying white. What comes up when I put in the word white? And so much good stuff. I love the sort of barn board look. I love that one with the little succulent. 
and um, let me just download that and save it to the computer and then I'm going to upload it to Facebook. So you can see how quickly this comes together. I know for me setting up a new page can be kind of a hassle and kind of intimidating because as soon as you set it up you do need all these quality photos but if you have stencil open then it just takes a couple minutes and all of this is done. There's the, how it looks with the cute succulent. I don't know if that's as on brand, but I just really like that. So I'm going to download it and I'll probably use it for something or other. But just by searching a simple search like white, I've come up with a lot of really cool images here. Or stencil has come up with a lot of cool images. So now let's try creating our own logo. Say you didn't have a logo. You can start here on stencil with a box of any size and then you can make the background transparent. And uh, here you can see I'm just going to quickly put in some text boxes but you guys I think kind of get that. You can make your text any size, any sort of font and um, just by doing it on a transparent background and saving it specifically as a PNG file that's going to uh, create your logo. All right, so now we've got a cute uh, cover photo and a profile photo, and I just need some, some content on my page. So what I'm gonna do is go down here and add a post, and I'm just going to add a file that I had already created. So I used Stencil to create this very cute graphic, and I just made one for Prince Edward Island because that's where I am, and that's a big part of my brand. So that was done on Stencil. You can see I've just used an image and added a square. And now I'm going to show you guys kind of how I did that. So I've got a succulent image here, just again darkening, make it a little transparent. And once I get that the way I like, I'm going to take a rectangle. Um, just went into the icon section and searched rectangle. And you can see here stencil helps me to put it right in the center. I'll change the color, change the transparency or up the transparency a little bit. Again, just centering it and then I'm going to do a graphic that has all my shop hours and I have to say doing this um, that grid system that you can see that comes up really helped because I was able to center things and just get everything looking very balanced and that is a feature that is missing on some software that grid that helps you to um, keep everything centered so that is a very nice feature and you can see now I've got my shop hours. I'll just put a little come by anytime on there and upload that or publish that to my page. So now I've got a few pieces of content. So it's not just about creating a, a profile and a cover photo. I've got some content on the page. And this isn't really my branding, but I just wanted to show, give you guys another fun idea. If you do a rectangle and you just throw it across one side of an image, that also looks really cool. So just so many ideas, play around, have fun with the program. Here I'm creating a graphic uh, that I will use later in the season because I'm going to be having a big end of season sale. So if I get this done now, then at the end of September, all I have to do is uh, go into my files on the computer and just toss it up on the Facebook page. And you can see I'm just playing around with different fonts, you know, moving things around. It really allows you to be the graphic designer and decide where do you want to place this and that. And it does all the work of having the great fonts, having the nice photos, and helping you to keep them all, all centered or, or whatever the case may be. So yeah, simple, easy to use tools. And you guys can try this out for free. So I recommend going to Get Stencil and just giving this awesome program a try. It's just taking me a couple minutes and I've got a great little sales sticker that I can post on my Facebook page when I need to. And one more thing that I want to mention is you can also print all of the things that you create on Stencil. So there is a print feature and that is awesome because I can actually print this work out as a flyer when I'm ready to advertise. Thank you so much for watching this today, guys. I hope that those of you out there that are running your own business or your own blog, I wish you all the best in your endeavor. I know it is so much work, but it is also so worth it. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't hesitate to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next week with a new tutorial.